welcome back to the mathematics session in today's video lesson we are going to discuss the exercise 2.2 of the polynomials chapter 2 of class 9th right we were discussing previously in few video lessons the polynomials chapter the introductory part the concepts i have discussed clearly please do watch that video because getting the concepts perfectly you will understand and you will make use of them in the exercise problems and i have also completed the exercise 2.1 today we will be doing and also 2.2 also i have started and i have done a few problems now let's continue exercise 2.2 problems okay here i have noted down the continuation right and those who have not watched those videos please click on the i button and get notified here now the third problem verify whether the values of x in each case are the zeros of the polynomials or not just we have to verify here in that first part i have done in the previous video session so the second part i have written here and the third part i have written here the polynomial is phi sorry here it should be 5x okay so 5x minus pi where the x value is given as minus 3 by 2 so whether we have to check whether the, the, these are the zeros of the polynomial or not so these values of x are the zeros or not to check them we have to substitute the x value into the polynomial and see whether the value comes to 0 or not okay so let us substitute in place of x minus 3 by 2 so the polynomial is 5 into minus 3 by 2 minus pi value let us take 3.14 or you can take 22 by 7 also here this value 5 3 is minus 15 by 2 minus 3.14 so 15 by 2 if you take it into the um, decimal part it is 7.5 so half of 15 is 7.5 so minus is that minus 3.14 simply both are same signs simply add them see here 7.5 means 50 you can take 3.14 decimal upon decimal only we we will add and subtract okay so 4 6 10.64 is the final answer but is this minus 3 by 2 0 no because the value if the value of the polynomial is 0 then we call this as the 0 of a polynomial so hence we can say minus 3 by 2 is not 0 of p of x the polynomial here is p of x let's check for the third problem also here x is equal to plus 1 minus 1 so first we will see for plus 1 so 1 square minus 1 so that comes to 1 up minus 1 is 0 so we got the polynomial value as 0 so 1 is the 0 of the polynomial and let's check minus 1 here minus 1 square minus 1 so minus 1 whole square is 1 1 minus 1 is again 0 so we have both the values are 0 so therefore x minus 1 and plus 1 here x equal to plus or minus 1 are the zeros zeros of the polynomial right so please pause the video and note it down let's see the next problem so the fourth the bit here p of x given this and x value is minus 1 and minus 2 so let's substitute minus 1 here first so in place of x we are substituting minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 plus 2 here in place of x i'm substituting minus 1 so this comes to minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and 2 minus 1 is just 1 okay so this is multiplication minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 so here let's substitute minus 2 also minus 2 minus 1 and minus 2 plus 2 so this is minus 3 multiplied by here 2 minus 2 that is 0. 0 into anything is 0. So, when substituted with minus 2, we got the polynomial value as 0. So, only p of minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. This is not the 0 of the polynomial. That we will mention. Minus 2 is, uh, 
is the zero of polynomial right and minus 1 is not because we did not get zero isn't it so is not zero of the polynomial so this is the fourth one let's see the fifth one here the variable of the polynomial is y okay y value is given zero so let's substitute p of zero is equal to zero square zero square is again zero therefore we got the value of polynomial as zero therefore zero is the zero of polynomial here the polynomial is p of y that means with y variable okay zero is a zero of the polynomial when zero the x value like y value the variable value zero is substituted we got the value of the polynomial as zero so that is called the zero of the polynomial now the sixth one p of x is called ax plus b x value is minus b by a we will substitute this here so p of minus b by a in place of x i'll substitute minus b upon a plus b here multiplied so we can cancel off a and a so this comes to minus b plus b so this is simply we can write it as zero so the value is zero therefore minus b by a is the zero of the polynomial zero of the polynomial right so this is the sixth one now coming to the seventh one here the polynomial is f of x okay in that we have two uh, x values we will substitute and find out whether they are zeros or not okay minus 1 upon root 3 so f of minus 1 upon root 3 equal to 3 into minus 1 upon root 3 whole square minus 1 i have substituted now here 3 into minus 1 whole square is 1 root 3 whole square is just 3 so minus 1 so this is multiplied here i can cancel off 3 so this comes to 1 minus 1 that is simply 0 so we got the value as 0 therefore x is equal to minus 1 by root 3 is called the 0 of this polynomial and let's check for even this value of x 2 upon root 3 right let me substitute here 3 into 2 by root 3 whole square minus 1. So, 3 x square minus 1. In place of x, I have substituted 2 by root 3. So, this comes to 3 into 4 by 3 minus 1. So, 3 and 3 again cancel. So, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, we did not get 0. So, this is not the 0 of the polynomial. Only the value of minus 1 by root 3 is, is a 0. So, we will write here. Therefore, minus 1 by root 3 is 0 of polynomial p of x. And 2 by root 3 is not 0 of polynomial. We have to check whether this is a 0 or not. So, we got minus 1 by root 3 as a 0 of the polynomial. Please pause the video and note the notes. Okay. Find the 0 of the polynomial in each of the following cases. The fourth bit here. I have noted down all the problems. One problem I had given for you. That is the third bit. That is for you to practice. Okay. Let's get started here. To find the 0 of the polynomial, we need to equate the polynomial to the 0. So, this is the polynomial f of x, x plus 2. So, let us first equate the polynomial to 0 to get the 0 of a polynomial. So, x value, if this is 0, if you send this minus 2 to the other side, it plus 2 to the other side, it becomes minus 2. So, x is equal to minus 2 is the 0, okay, is the 0 of f of x here polynomial. Yes, minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial. Now, coming to the next one. First, we have to equate the polynomial to 0 to get the 0 of the polynomial. So, x is equal to minus 2 to the other side plus 2 is the 0 of f of x. Okay. So, plus 2 is a 0. Now, the th third one I had given for you to practice. Now, this is the fourth bit. Okay. Take the polynomial, equate it to 0 first to get the 0 of the polynomial. So, 2x 
So shift this constant to the other side. This becomes 3 plus 3. Now x value here. Now 3 by 2. Because this is multiplied, it comes to the division. So x 3 by 2 is the 0 of the polynomial f of x. Right. Now next one, after the fourth one, the fifth one here. Now we will equate x square equal to 0. So x value, so square rooting both sides if you get here x value is equal to square root of 0. Right. So what I have done, I have, I am square rooting both sides. So square square root goes cancel, gets cancelled. This is 0. So 0 is the 0 of polynomial f of x. 0 is the 0 of the polynomial here. Now coming to f of x, this polynomial itself is px. This is not the polynomial p of x. It's not p of x. It is p into x where the p value is positive value. Not equal to 0 means it is a positive value or it may be negative values. Okay. But not equal to 0. Okay. Here. Now we will take the polynomial equated to 0. Okay. So this is x is equal to shift this 0 upon p. p is some constant. Okay. Which is not equal to 0. That's all. So 0 upon p is again 0 because p is not 0 given. So 0 x value is 0. We got the value as 0. So x equal to 0 is the 0 of the polynomial. 0 of f of x here. Polynomial is f of x. Right. Now coming to 6 one the coming to the seventh one. The polynomial is px plus q where p not equal to 0 and pq are real numbers given the condition. Now here first we will equate the polynomial to 0. Right. Now we want to find the x value. So px keep it to this side. q shift it to the other side. It becomes minus q. Now x is equal to minus q by p. This is the 0 of the polynomial is the 0 of here the polynomial is f of x. We know that p and q, p and q are real numbers and p is not equal to 0. Okay, So minus q upon p is called the 0 of the polynomial. Okay, Please pause the video and note it down. Let us see the fifth, fifth bit. If 2 is a 0 of the polynomial 2x square minus 3x plus 7a. Find the value of a here. Here Given that 2 is a 0 of the polynomial, that means when we have when we substitute 2 here, we have to get the value of the polynomial as 0. So let us substitute and find the value of a. In place of x, we will substitute 2. Here, p of 2 equal to 2 into wherever x is there, substitute 2, 2 square minus 3 into 2 plus 7a equals to 0 because given that 2 is the 0 of the polynomial when I have when I will substitute in this I have to get the value of the polynomial as 0 right now from here we can get 2 square is 4 4 2 is 8 minus 3 2 is 6 plus 7 a equal to 0 8 minus 2 is 2 8 minus 6 is 2 plus 7 a equal to 0 so 7a equals to, if you shift this to the other side, minus 2, a value is minus 2 upon 7. This is the value of a when 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. Please make a note, pause the video and make The last problem of this exercise, 6th one, if 0 and 1 are the zeros of the polynomial f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square plus ax plus b. Here that is a cubic polynomial. Find the values of a and b. So given the condition that 0 and 1 are the zeros of the polynomial. So let us substitute 0 and 1 in the polynomial. Here the polynomial f of x equals to 2x cube minus 3x square plus ax plus b. Right. This is the solution here. And so given 0 and 1 are the zeros of this. So first I will substitute 0. Okay. 0 is a 0 of the polynomial. That means in place of x I will substitute 0. So 3 into 0 square plus 
a into 0 plus b should be equal to 0 because given the condition that 0 is a 0 of the polynomial. So, we have to equate it to 0. So, 0 cube 0, 0 into anything is 0, 0 into anything is 0, 0 into anything is 0. So, all these 3 comes to 0, we get b value equal to 0. So, let this be equation 1. Okay, b value is 0. That Let us suppose that is equation 1. And we also have 1 as a 0. So, we will substitute 1 in place of x. So, 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square plus a into 1 plus b should be equal to 0 because given that 1 is the 0 of the polynomial. So, we have to equate it to 0. So, 1 cube is 1, 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 into 3 is 3, 1 into a is a plus b equal to 0. So, 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus a plus b equal to 0. Right here. So, a plus b equals to minus 1. This I will shift it to the other side. So, it becomes plus 1. Now, we know the value of b equal to 0. That I will substitute. So, substitute substitute b equal to 0. Here, a plus b equal to 0 I am substituting. That is equal to 1. So, a value is simply 1. So, we found therefore find the values of a and b. Therefore, a equal to 1, b equal to 0 is the final answer. Please note it down. Pause the video and note it down. Here in this exercise, I have completed everything only the third bit. That is um, the third bit of the fourth problem. In the fourth one, the third bit are given for you to practice. Do practice the sums. Hope you have understood. Thank you all.